mind it. This is the eco mode. Can you imagine when you shift to sports mode? Man, now I know what you're talking about. The G's. This really throws you back into the seat. एवरीथिंग अबाउट दिस इज लाइक अ नॉर्मल कार ओनली थिंग दैट आई कैन सी दैट एक गियर सिलेक्टर हा प्रकार नहीं है इट्स जस्ट ड्राइव और रिवर्स रोटरी स्विच रोड नॉर्मल स्विच दिला है तेरा एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एवरीथिंग एल्स लुक्स वेरी वेरी कार लाइक आई मीन इट्स अननेचुरल टू मी बिकॉज एक ईवी चालवीन म्हणून माझ्या डोक्यामध्ये थोडं बसलं होतं की आय डोंट नो वाय मे बी असं ऑन द मुव्हीज ऑन स्पेसशिप टाईप्स काहीतरी फिलिंग पाहिजे म्हणून पण असं काही नाही आहे इट फील्स व्हेरी नॅचरल या so the general perception basically would be that uh, being an electric vehicle there there must have been lot of uh, you know weight saving and cost cutting and but still you can see that uh, dashboard here is 80% soft touch uh, you have the uh, leather seats over here and the overall interior is plush uh, up market you cannot uh, basically say that uh, no no this is an ev and there has to be some kind of you know cost cutting in terms of weight saving right just to extend the range because there are a lot of range anxiety uh, you know public we have in the market right after because we are somewhere falling behind in the infra but now the infra is also you know uh, it is uh, increasing at a vast pace correct very uh, basically every year one year two city does have a, at least ac fast charger and uh, once you look at the car yes there are a lot of uh, silver inserts and chrome inserts on the dashboard and yes so the entire feel of the car is uh, really up market uh, in the, in this while cha- driving this i was feeling a little bit of uh, like when i let go of the accelerator uh-huh. there is a little bit of resistance that is coming in apan kay kele ka chaati uh see this is an electric vehicle and uh, as i told uh, earlier that we have a lot of uh, range anxiety public around right and so that is the reason uh, you know smartly engineered system called it is called kinetic energy regeneration system this car is equipped with curse that is kinetic energy oh regeneration. curse is something i had heard in uh, formula 1 Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, kinetic energy regeneration system. Formula One is again hybrid car system. Correct. Yes. So, yeah, they do, they do have this system. And uh, what this car does basically, when you uh, ease up sorry. the throttle, you can remove your foot from the throttle, and the car will start coasting. Coasting is where the momentum continues, and this momentum is used to regenerate energy, part of the energy which has been you know used while you're driving. Right. And uh, the electric motor practically starts working as a generator. and okay. it generates electricity and charges the battery but is this like like good yeah. amount of charging can usta apna nav purta nahi nahi so there are three levels so if you want maximum energy regeneration okay uh, you have to put the vehicle in curse level 3 uh, okay. which will definitely have some effect on the retardation uh, rate that is the deceleration rate okay the car will retard a bit faster because it has to use up the maximum momentum to charge the battery correct correct if you don't care about the range if you don't care about anything else you can put it to normal mode also okay. and if you don't really exactly you don't want to be compromising with the coasting right. uh, pleasure right. you can always put it on level 1 but uh, it is advisable that you keep this uh, curse level at 3 okay. for you know extended ranges okay all right so atta pan 3 madhe aavat ka ap atta pan 3 madhe aavat oh so that is why the aggressiveness yeah. that i am feeling yeah the rate of Aap retardation on, yeah ap one madhe tapu madhe kay for example Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah give a nudge to this switch. Okay. So now it is level one. Level. Yeah, oh, so. wow. All right. That's far more free. Yeah. Now it is. It has been freed up. The rate of deceleration has decreased, but it also compromises with the rate of energy generation. What are they? Okay. So when they actually me some the highway worthy asking. Yeah. And I am going to go on for 
बाइक यू नो आराम से चालू है मज़ा गाड़ी चालू ना माला कहीं जस्ट पावर पंड दल लगे नहीं थ्रोटल इनपुट दल लगे नहीं है आई कैन एक्चुअली जस्ट स्विच इट ऑन टू थ्री एंड व्हेनेवर द कार इज ट्राइंग टू कम टू अ स्टॉप इट्स गोइंग टू रीजेनरेट अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी एडिंग टू माय किलोमीटर्स रेंज बेसिकली Why? Because the rate of deceleration is quite high in level level three, as you know it, as right. experienced it. Yes. So the you know mechanical application of brake is not required from the point of application. Yeah. yeah so basically, what happens is that you can coast down easily without any anxiety of you know uh, colliding with the vehicle in front of you. Correct. Because it controls the uh, deceleration at a very you know uh, at a very efficient rate. Correct. And that is the reason the mechanical application of brake happens at the last. Correct. That's true. Even if you pre- even if you press the brake pedal, right. Uh, first, it will give priority to the regeneration, regeneration. and right. at the end, right. it will apply the brakes. Right. So, which is quite uh, you know you can even experience it. Right. Uh, some people may feel that it is unsafe, uh-huh. but it is not at all unsafe. You can when you drive it for yourself, you'll find the difference. Frankly, I'll tell you what this one is not shooting me. Yeah. I think I'm going to put a three minutes taku. So yeah. I'll do this and this. Right. So this this feels much better to me. माझा पाय फक्त ॲक्सिलेटर वर राहतोय मला समजा थांबायचं आहे द मोमेंट आय गोड रिमूव्ह माय फूट फ्रॉम द ॲक्सिलेटर इट मेक्स सेन्स दॅट द व्हेकल इज स्टॉपिंग सो एक्झॅक्टली इट गिव्स यू द इफेक्ट ऑफ ब्रेकिंग ऑल्सो दॅट शो सो नो नीड टू यू नो मेक द फ्रिक्वेंट ट्रान्झेशन फ्रॉम ब्रेक पेडल टू आय आय म्हणजे आधी मला नोटीस झालं असं नाही की नाही झालं आता मी पहिली जनरेशन जेड एस सी पण चालवली होती बाय द वे वी मेड अ व्हिडिओ अबाउट द रिॲक्शन ऑफ सर्टन पुणेकर्स ऑन दॅट इफ यू हॅवन वॉच दॅट व्हिडिओ क्लिक समवेअर ओ युअर सी दॅट बट मी जेव्हा ती पहिली चालवली होती तेव्हाही हा मजा म्हणजे हे जे क्वायटनेस आहे दिस इज समथिंग एल्स हे हे नाही दुसऱ्या कुठल्या गाड्यामध्ये म्हणजे आय हॅव नॉट सॅट इन अ लॉट ऑफ कार्स ऑफकोर्स बट still you do get that engine noise in this but this is absolutely quiet and the kind of refinement that this zs ev is able to give i think it's quite fascinating i'm actually impressed because apan ek sadharan 10 km alelo ahot we are on the highway some bad patches of the road and uh, i don't know why pan te zs ev mane ev matla nantar maya dokyamade thoda cheap ani build quality asa somehow it is ingrained but i come here i sit in this this is like proper solid good build quality stitching ekdam perfect pristine dishte yeah. uh when we are riding it's stable the handling is good weighted and uh, this feels like a solid suv and that is surprising yes, is. me i don't know why but it shouldn't because this is a premium car but it still surprises me and i'm quite impressed with this it indeed is a solid suv because when i when we talk about the curb weight of the vehicle it is 1.6 tons not okay being an electric vehicle uh, you may feel that a lot of uh, you know components have been reduced there is no transmission you know a lot of uh, the engine weight has been reduced because there is a, uh, you know a motor right and uh, you were talking about the nvh that is noise vibration and harshness yes. of this vehicle so yes. it's quite obvious there are the number of moving parts have been reduced correct nothing like that there is a simple shaft which rotates on the you know magnetic flux right. so we don't have engine we don't have piston we don't have crack connecting rod we don't have crank shaft mm-hmm. we don't have the engaging mechanism disengaging the cannon that is a clutch system we don't have a transmission to change uh, you know gears because the speed and torque is managed by the frequency of the current that right. and the, that that frequency is managed by the etc pedal basically right. so i'm going a little bit more deep, uh, deep in technical, technical. Yeah. but uh, yes uh, the feel is quite quite uh, you know basically very silent yeah. and the reason is that the number of moving parts have been reduced to you know, say just a single shaft rotating at a very high rpm right and there is no reciprocating motion correct so the piston goes up piston goes down yahan pe aisa kuch nahi hai right wo motor ka sirf shaft gol gol ghum raha hai correct and it is driving so basically the entire motion is circular only there is no reciprocating motion so that is the reason you are not feeling any kind of nvh over here and of course the build quality uh, speaks for itself Uh, yeah the the way we have experienced hector hector also being a diesel engine car the 2 liter diesel engine we still have a very you know quiet cabin right because of the overall build quality proper noise insulation has been done to rangada chotto mane hector mi bagitle ki mala asa tank raste var na challa asa vatta mi ekda i think baslo tacha darwaza i was you know this close was very that was a heavy door i don't know but uh, is it like an a british thing or an mg thing to build their cars really solid 
every single vehicle yeah. is on a yeah. 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 So safety is the you know safety is at the uh, pinnacle of everything. Whenever we talk about automobiles, safety becomes the priority. Safety comes first. Of course. So safety starts from the overall build build of the car. So uh, the augmented safety, the additional safety, the auxiliary safety system that we have, that is, you know, brake systems we, wherein we have ABS, brake assist, EBD, ESP, blah blah. blah. Right. Even we have uh, airbags, but airbags uh, would be used in a condition wherein the accident or the collision is inevitable. Correct. But safety starts from the, you know, it starts from the foundation. Not the foundation, cause a collision in the first place. Yeah, and even even if it's, it, it causes a collision, even the collision is inevitable, the first uh, shock should be taken, the first impact should be taken by the body. Correct. It should not come inside the cabin. Correct. And for that you require a strong body. Right. And so MG believes in a very, uh, you know, safe shell of the cars and that is the reason you found that door so heavy, even the bonnet is quite heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's what you need. Exactly. exactly. Gaadi la insurance as the, that is why you take those things. It is called uh, Sir Salamat to Pagadi Bazaar. Correct. Ah, right. Definitely. And <laughs> then this sunroof. Yeah, you can call it as a sky roof. Yeah, 90% of, yeah, of the roof is covered by the sunroof only. So we basically, here in MG we call it as a sky roof because uh, it is, the word massive is quite correct. I, could, I would say humongous in size and uh, you can even experience that still being a cloudy weather you have a very good amount of light inside the car. Right. That's because of the huge uh, It's very surprising. Out of because I feel very anxious when I see that because it seems dangerous. But when you sit in a car like this, the kind of airiness and light that it yeah. is adding into the cabin, yeah. it's quite refreshing. And I think even a blacked out interior, I'm a fan of black interiors yeah, yeah. with these chrome accents and silver edge finishes. Delay. Yeah, yeah. But when you sit in a car like this, the kind of airiness and light that it is adding into the cabin, it's quite refreshing. This with the light looks really, really luxurious. I think uh, these are some of the high-end German cars, Jencha Made, Ashe, Dilgarch yeah. types. Yeah. And if, uh, something that I noticed, I not know So, Dokya Made normally don't count as Astat, Pratik Gadi One is the speedometer and one is the rev counter. Yeah. Here I'm seeing that there is a charge counter. I don't know what to call this. Uh, this is basically a power meter which uh, shows you how much power you are utilizing as of now. So it, it is basically percentage of power that the motor is generating and you can actually see how much motor is delivering to you. So yeah, so you can <laughs> technically go down to somewhere around uh, 80 or 90 percent of power utilization and uh, even that's not a red line over there. You can see the yeah. line is not uh, red, it is yellow, yellow basically because that means that you can use this car the way you want. Decent to yeah. I wasn't relaxing, I was going pretty decently. I was going to go to the But even acceleration, I thought this acceleration was pretty good. And then I pressed the accelerator to me, the Dakola, and then it goes to 80. And it's a You know the funny thing? You know the funny thing? You did not try the sports mode. Currently, you're driving in eco mode. Can you imagine the what, what the sports mode will do to you? Okay. The G force I is yeah, the G force is felt. You can even feel the G force. You, you, can, you will wow. be you know pressed against the seat. We have so, to yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think Pune Satara Road is not uh, not the correct the uh, best place. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Oh. this is the eco mode. Mind it. This is the eco mode. Can you imagine when you shift to sports mode? My God. So you can actually you know feel the uh, you know G force of a takeoff in an aircraft. Oh. This is addictive. Yeah, this is addictive. If this is electric future, I'm in for it. Yeah. the owner Okay. To be fair, me the Hyundai Kona which is, I think, the rival of this car in terms of the price and uh, the kind of range that this hit in. Okay. Nexon would be unfair to uh, yeah, yeah. compare with this because it's, it's a different range. But the capacity is less, the speed is less, and it's basically price range is completely different. Yeah. Uh, I have not felt this kind of an aggressive acceleration and you're telling me this is an eco uh, <laughs> which i find it very hard to believe but yeah you're right i am in eco itself it's oh my god this is going to be fun i think upon the destination la challo hai tithe jitke laukar jaate because i know the roads there are fantastic yeah, and yeah. we are going to have a you cart also i can Bala. see i can see your impatience to try <laughs> that sports mode <laughs> definitely. i can sense it <laughs> definitely this is a lot of fun this car, this car is surprising in a 
the whole okay now we've got automatic green sensing green sensing my person yeah of course oh, this is a luxurious vehicle there's no doubt any mansai rain sensing hai ka yeah yeah of course ओके बिकॉज मगाशी मी बघितलं तो एकदा एकदम चालू झाला मला वाटलं आय नॉक समथिंग बट देन नाव दॅट दिस यू क्लिअर दॅट दिस इज ऑल्सो रेन सेन्सिंग वायपर्स मला काय करायचं काय मग प्रॉब्ली आय पुट इट इन देर मस्ट बी क्रूज कंट्रोल टू दिस सिरियसली म्हणजे टेस्लानी ते काहीतरी डोक्यात बोलून ठेवलंय सो आपण आता बऱ्यापैकी खराब रस्त्यावर जातो some i don't know why this is so easy i mean tacha jo suspension ahe okay apan evda ata dullelo but literally there is nothing on my back the way i can handle or just maneuver the vehicle agdi manje karangni ni jari chalvaycha matla tari mala te ekdam easy jate and not in a like non connected way like the steering is very much weighted to give you a nice feel of driving a good हेवी व्हेकल बट इट्स नॉट दॅट हेवी की तुम्ही स्लगिश वाटतो बिकॉज द परफॉर्मन्स इज अमेझिंग अँड कॅन यू जस्ट टेल मी लाईक वॉट इज इट अबाउट द राईड क्वालिटी दॅट इज जस्ट सो नाईस इन द झेड एसी सो युल फाइंड अ मेजर डिफरन्स बिटवीन द राईड क्वालिटी ऑफ एनी आय सी आय सी मीन्स आय यु नो इंटरनल कम्बर्शन इंजिन कार्स अँड द इव्हीज बेसिक स्पेसिफिकली दॅट इज द रिझन इज विल बी द वेट डिस्ट्रीब्युशन हाऊ द वेट हॅज बीन डिस्ट्रीब्युटेड थ्रू आउट द यु नो द फ्रंट सेक्शन ऑफ द कार अँड द रिअर सेक्शन ऑफ द मिड सेक्शन ऑफ द कार ओके सो द वेट डिस्ट्रीब्युशन ॲज यू कॅन लॉजिकली मेक इट आउट दॅट इन आय सी इंजिन्स दर इज अ इंजिन दर इज अ ट्रान्समिशन यु नो दर इज अ डिफरन्शियल दॅन दर आर लॉट ऑफ डिफरंट डिफरंट आयटम्स इन इक्विपमेंट रिलेटेड यु नो दर इज अ सेपरेट रेडिएटर विच यु नो बाईट ऑफ इंटरकूलर द लॉट ऑफ डिफरंट डिफरंट पार्ट्स आर देअर विच आर एंटायरली प्लेस्ड इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द कार every time you apply brakes the entire weight weight of the vehicle will shift towards the forward correct and it will you know give you a good amount of nose dive correct That's whereas right. electric vehicles the only thing that you have in the you know bonnet under the hood is the motor right. and the related accessories uh, related to you know, accessories related to the drive train okay and majority of the weight you will find it in the center of the car below the floorboard because the battery is placed below the floorboard right okay okay so you can you know it's uniformly can, yeah it's uniformly distributed even if you don't have passenger seated on the rear seats you still have a very good ride handling because of the even weight distribution the nose dive is quite controllable in this car because the weight in the front is quite less right and even if it is more it is still being balanced by the weight of the battery correct weight of the battery is around 277 kg oh okay that's so yeah so okay. close to 3 quintals yeah and that's so a good amount four of weight people sitting yeah that's a good amount of weight on the center of the car so the that's cg true. remains quite stabilized yes and that is the reason you don't have much more pitch orientations and the roll orientation also that's true yeah the cg point i do agree with you because uh, typically suvs sah issue hai to kithe uncha astat ani bari cg is to make yeah. it's it's quite raised up so i can understand how ही गाडी उंच आहे पण तरी यू आर गेटिंग अ फील ऍज इफ यू आर ड्रायव्हिंग अ बसकी गाडी म्हणजे समथिंग विच इज क्वाईट लाईक अ सुमो पोझिशन काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग अँड इट गिव्ह यू अ गुड स्टेबिलिटी आय फ्रँकली दिस व्हेकल इज अ लक्झरी व्हेकल जेव्हा अशा रस्त्यांवरती आपण पोचू तेव्हा युजली आय वुड बी लाईक अरे अरे हळूहळू कुठं काय लागतंय पण एकदा दोनदा ते खड्ड्यांमधनं गेल्यावर आय वॉज लाईक दिस गुड हँडल इट दॅट्स नॉट अ बिग डील आय थिंक इथ ग्राउंड क्लिअरन्स इज क्वाईट गुड काही आत्तापर्यंत घासणं किंवा कुठं काही झालेलं नाही आहे अँड टू टेल यू ऑनेस्टली आय आय कॅन शो यू द रोड बट वी आर ऑन प्रिटी बॅड पॅचेस ऑफ रोड राईट नाव रिअली इम्प्रेस विथ झेड एस इव्ही ऑन इट्स राईड क्वालिटी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दी राईड क्वालिटी इन एव्हरीथिंग देर इज वन मोर फॅसिनेटिंग थिंग अबाउट दिस कार इज दॅट यू कॅन सी there a lot of gas guzzling vehicles in front of us and they are you know really puffing out smoke like yeah. something <laughs> but the thing is that so prehistoric uh, i yeah, tell you <laughs> fossils fossils yeah, yeah. And, uh, since this car is not using any kind of fossil fossil fuel correct uh, the occupants inside the car wouldn't expect the same kind of uh, treatment when they are driving throughout uh, an environment full of uh, fossil smokes so this car does have a, a particulate matter 2.5 micron filter Okay. it is called pm 2.5 inch one okay so just to explain there is a place in delhi called anand vihar right so the life expectancy of an average person over there is hardly 35 40 years the reason is it is the most polluted part of the city in the world 
and wow. the yeah okay. and the most dangerous pollutant in that uh, vicinity is the particulate matter 2.5 micron oh okay yeah yeah and uh, that is the reason people over there have general problems like breathing problems they have uh, short you know uh, shortness of breath right then they have uh, lung problems uh, asthma then in the you know extreme cases cardiac arrest and everything bomb right so okay. bm 2.5 responsible for around uh, around a million deaths in the world a year. million deaths yeah, yeah 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 so that is yeah, a million deaths uh, around the world in a year and uh, for that reason this car is equipped with a filter which will filter out the pm 2.5 micron which is the most there are a lot of different different spectrum of uh, micro you know uh, the particulate matters uh -huh. it can be pm 2 or pm 5 or pm 10 or something like that but pm 2.5 is the especially dangerous uh, particulate matter form which will kill a person so that is the reason we have this pm uh, 2.5 uh, filter even if the air quality index outside is 85 90 or say 100 aqi okay within a matter of 5 uh, minutes the aqi inside the vehicle will be 30 aqi you say aqi which it is air quality index oh okay yeah that makes sense that's yeah. a term that i've been uh, yeah, yeah. hearing quite a lot nowadays yeah oh. so what was the difference you said it will make so yeah within a bit, you know once you sit in the car you start the vehicle you start the ac Uh, even if the air quality index outside is 85 90 or 100 okay uh, after 5 minutes we'll find it uh, 30 aqi 30 inside the car that's the difference that's so you can more consider than half in it will yeah 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 it's one third extra okay yeah. okay so not only is the mg running uh, ecologically but it is also ensuring that the kind of air that you are breathing is also quite uh, yeah, ecological yeah. as well सो कुशल जी आता पाउस पड़तो इट्स अ डम क्वेश्चन बट आई थिंक देर आर कन्सर्न्स अबाउट यू नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वॉटर एंड टीवीज एंड पाउस एंड पडल्स एंड सो वॉट इज द बॉल गेम ऑफ द एम जी जेड एस सी वी परफॉर्मिंग इन वॉटरी कंडीशन वेदर इट इज स्टैंडर्ड वॉटर और इवन रेनी कंडीशन पीपल टू हैव कंसर्न बिकॉज सिंस लॉट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन वॉटर दिस देर आर कंसर्न्स ऑफ यू नो water related damages short circuits a lot of different you know uh, unimaginable uh, yeah. damages that we can we never want to talk about short circuits and these are bad things yes but uh, there is something called ingress protection okay and uh, it is done by international electrotechnical uh, committee basically uh, ipc is called ipc okay. it certifies uh, electronic and electric components uh, their you know outer casings how they can Uh, which can be the moisture how we can withstand the stand the uh, pressure of water from coming from outside okay so those ratings are called uh, ingress protection ratings ip ratings oh okay yeah okay. so even your mobile phones Correct. or even laptops they also have ip ratings Correct. even the wearable technology like smart watch and body cam and everything they Correct. all have ip ratings practically so why not an ev so big damn car so our ev that is ev is certified with the ip67 rating uh it means yeah. that probable damage caused by water and the immersion of the vehicle in uh, you know uh, flooded areas right. and like that so it can take up to 1 meter of depth for about 30 minutes and still the car would just uh, drive out fine 1 meter of depth yeah okay yeah the that testing environment requires that you have to immerse the car for at least a depth of 1 meter and uh, for 30 minutes so as the, i'm talking about depth because when the once the depth goes or increasing the right. pressure around the vehicle will increase correct so that water pressure is the sole responsibility so it is it is fully responsible and it will tend to you know enter inside the casings of the electronic components correct so that is the that is the problem when the depth increases the pressure around increases correct and that pressure will try to ingress the uh, water or moisture inside the components which is not a bit bit some which is a bad news technically correct but uh, for 30 minutes it can, can stand so 1 meter manje hardly hardly spoon nala yeah hardly spoon zameeni pasna pani gaadi cha ita ase tar you are able to understand yeah that. technically if we talk uh, if you take it the other way uh -huh. the entire vehicle is immersed in a you know depth of 1 meter considering 1 meter of the height goes above the rooftop Okay. Which would be a wrong thing to say because when you are considering the depth, it is from the ground level. Right. So 
all the components have been designed in a manner that it can take that much amount of pressure for that much amount of time to the depth of one meter. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. So, Ardha Tha Spoori Hi Paane Madhe Nasta. Literally, we are there hardly for a few seconds. Agdik Samza, Mumbai Madhe Dume Radha Sa, Madhe Dumcha Traffic Ko Pahe, or even Kokana Madhe, Aadha Chupari City has become very bad. So, there is somewhere you will be there in the water for around 5-10 minutes. You are saying till half an hour, I don't have to worry about anything. That it has been rated for. Obviously, it doesn't mean that it's a bit of 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 a bit
मैं अपना स्पीड मेंशन नहीं कर सकता बट माय गुडनेस यू कैन सी द ग्रिन ऑन माय फेस दिस इज दिस इज सुपर एडिक्टिव आई मीन एट ओह यस एंड द ग्रिन गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग इन साइज एंड एंड द फन पार्ट इज दैट द व्हीकल इज ट्यून्ड म्हणजे तो आपण मगाशी जे लोअर सीजीचं बोलत होतो त्याशिवाय द व्हीकल इज सो प्लांटेड आई मीन वी आर चेंजिंग लेन्स अँड इट माईट सी वायलंट इन द कॅमेरा इट्स ऍक्च्युली प्रिटी uh okay yeah. uh, but uh, you know the roll is minimal uh, the vehicle is staying very planted it's very stable and tachamade uh, it just adds to the entire pleasure of driving a capably fast car of course tumcha driving were dependent it can be very docile as well you can uh, drive it according to the highest range possible but uh, man this is this is a lot of fun and it's unexpected i mean uh, i know i've seen a lot of tesla videos and it is again launch videos and all of that apan azun launch nahi keleli of course but uh, uh, to experience it uh, of course the channel is drive it to believe it so genuinely just to i mean whether you intend to buy it or not you should definitely be drive experiencing this yeah. this feeling of driving in the like and this is the future whether uh, uh, you believe or you don't believe in this all companies are gearing up towards completely going electric in yeah by 2030 35 saganche aims ahet said so he honare it's just better if you start to experience this from now because it's fun i mean even the enthusiast will not be disappointed by this and check this so we were at 60 it's 100 already yeah 120 already 0 to 100 in just 8.5 seconds oh man Then it goes to 140, and it's planted even at this speed. Waraza, like usually you would have a lot of uh, engine noise coming in, the revs coming in, but this is different. This is very different. Uh, just to make a small correction, moments ago you said it's a future. It's not a future. It's it's actually a present. It's only the uh, it's only a you know the. Uh, somebody who wants to make a move to somebody who wants to uh, change the way they uh, look at mobility they can always take a step forward and they can opt for this option that's true yeah it is it is the current thing uh at the pandemic situation where you don't get to travel yeah. that much and in this case any person who is doing a daily 20 50 kilometers of running you're going to charge this once a week yeah so it it's extremely practical a person who is doing mumbai up down pune pasna me i'll i'll give examples you're trying to go to lonavla mahabaleshwar nashik uh, any of these places for a weekend getaway you're not going to require charging yeah. whatsoever you're easily going to be do it on a single tank of uh, charge tank uh, if it can be referred to it like that yeah. but to me easily they karu shakal and of course the the kind of silence that you get the kind of uh, luxury or the premiumness at least that the zs ev is giving you is unparalleled i mean uh, this price point uh, i think apan uh, price over bolu shakto ata apan already so i think it's costing what 26 26 and a half yeah. taxes yeah. whatever i mean duties but is kai uh no it's the exo let me see uh, adding something to exo but basically i'll tell you there is no rto tax on this because it's only the uh, registration fees that you require is of only 1700 rupees okay uh, normally cars of this price range they you know they cost somewhere around 2 lakh rupees for the only for the registration and the rto tax is road tax correct you say so we don't have road taxes for this car because it is a completely green car and okay only the registration charges of 1700 need to be paid Wow. 1700 rupees and there is one more good news because uh, maharashtra government is uh, giving a subsidy of 1 lakh rupees up to 1 lakh rupees okay for uh, electric vehicles so uh, we can say the government is promoting e mobility it's a win win situation coming to the total cost of ownership uh, if you consider any petrol or diesel car nowadays i don't think there is a much of a difference left behind for petrol and diesel uh, the price uh, you know margin is quite quite thin now right so unless you have like crazy yeah. amount of running yeah 12 20 hazar kilometer yeah. varsha na jata hai then it makes maybe makes sense to make sense it makes sense and uh, the uh, ratio of tco for uh, ic engine and for uh, electric vehicle
cycle comes to basically tennis to one. So the your expenditure on an IC engine car for just driving and maintaining the car takes around 10 rupees. For an EV, it comes down one one point five rupees per oh. kilometer. रिप्लेसमेंट there is no oiling basically correct yeah so uh, the only uh, lubrication loops that you require here is that the uh, single speed transmission oil that you that, that takes around 1.2 liters okay and, yeah and uh, that's yeah, less than so, half of what you would normally yeah, yeah yeah so there is no engine so uh, no worries about the you know no need to bother about the engine oil there is no lube for but since there is a single speed transmission yes it does have gear and that single gear or the coupling gear does require some amount of Okay. Okay. That much amount of fun. Otherwise, there is no oil. So, if I were to say that usually like 10 to 12,000 rupees is an annual service cost for a uh, SUV this size or this cost bracket, uh, maybe even going up till 15,000 rupees. Yeah, 15,000 is the more palatable value because nowadays 10,000 में कुछ नहीं आता. Yeah. So, वही हलाक कितने पड़े हैं या comparison में? Ah, uh, hardly 4,000, 5,000 uh, per visit. मंथ Okay. After purchase or 1,000 kilometers. Okay. And uh, the second visit is up, uh, after six months. Third visit will uh, be at 10,000 uh, kilometers, but basically 7,000 kilometers is the range. So okay. yeah. And post that, every 10,000 kilometers you visit. So even if you consume the uh, remaining three, that is the uh, remaining two services, it is still uh, much more beneficial because normally man- other manufacturers they give around uh, three free services or four free services. Correct. So you still get one extra, which is labor free completely. And, consumables of course they have they have to be you know they are on char- chargeable basis correct once a year 10000 kilometers yeah this is pretty normal mala kai asa vegli savai karu gechi garaj nahi just because this is an electric other actually what i can expect is a 100% guarantee probably now i am not putting words in your mouth but i should easily get this vehicle back the same day that i put it for servicing because there's not much work to be done at all you will cost of living is low uh cost of purchase uh looking at the luxury levels that we have yeah, here yeah, and uh, i'm i'm not just saying it for the sake of saying it it actually feels like a very premium vehicle the touch and feel is really good yeah. the kind of space that you have the cubby holes that you have tumhala ji jaga bottles wagaire thevala mhante ki va even rain sensing wipers or you know these automatic things that are supposed to make your life more easy like luxury apan tes mhanto ki it's automation you yeah. don't have to put a thought to it सो या सगळ्या गोष्टी कन्सिडर करता ट्वेंटी फाईव्ह लाख रुपीज फॉर दिस व्हेकल अँड दॅट टू इन युअर हँड हो डू आय गेट द चार्जर इन द ट्वेंटी फाईव्ह या यू गेट ऑन बोर्ड चार्जर विथ विथ व्हेकल ओके बेसिकली थ्री पॉईंट फाईव्ह वॉट्स चार्जर विच यू चार्ज युअर व्हेकल से फ्रॉम झिरो टू एटी पर्सेंट इन फिफ्टीन आर्स साऊंड या साऊंड सेटल बिट डिफरंट बट बेसिकली एम जी ऑल्सो एन्शॉर्स टू इन्स्टॉल ए सी फास्ट चार्जर इन युअर रेसिडेंस ओके और ॲट युअर ऑफिस ओके Uh, and uh, it takes around uh, overnight say 6 to 8 hours to charge the battery for from 0 to say full charge it will take around 8 hours it we can uh, take it down to what say 14 rupees per 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 minute okay. depends upon the uh, minute for it, it is for uh, dc super fast i think because literally the charging time taken would be minutes only not not, not even in hours so 15 uh-huh. minutes 15 rupees per minute is what 50 minutes 750 rupees for a full charge and then you drive up to around 300 kilometers so Close to what? 1.5? Huh? Okay. 1.5, 2.5. Yeah, that's that's still less. I mean, 
सातशे रुपयामध्ये फुल टँक तर होत या युजली आपल्या टँकची रेंज पण ती तीनशे साडेतीनशे किलोमीटर इफ यू ड्राईव्ह थ्रू विली फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स इज समथिंग दॅट यू युजली गेट सो सेवन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स डेफिनेटली आजच्या पेट्रोलच्या प्राईसच्या हिशोबाने एनिवेअर बिटवीन टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी फायव्ह हंड्रेड थ्री थाउजंड रुपीज टू फ्युल अप कम्प्लिटली दॅट इज समथिंग दॅट सर फॉर अ फुल टँक ऑफ एन ई बी बेसिकली वी कॅन से फुल चार्ज इट विल टेक अराउंड मॅक्सिमम इट विल टेक सेवन टन फिफ्टी ऑर हंड्रेड रुपीज विच अगेन वॉइस डाऊन टू थ्री टू पॉईंट फायव्ह ऑर थ्री रुपीज पर किलो अँड दॅट इज ऑल्सो थ्रू डी सी फास्ट चार्जर करेक्ट ए सी फास्ट चार्जर्स विल बी लिटल बिट चिपर ऑन अ चिपर साईड अँड ऑफकोर्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दी एनर्जी मीटर इन्स्टॉल एट युअर होम इफ यू चार्ज वेहिकल फॉर फिफ्टीन आवर्स हार्डली सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके रुपीज सो हा जो आठवड्यात नाही एकदा मला चार्ज करायचा जो फंड आहे त्याच्यासाठी माझ्याकडनं एक साधारण सहाशे रुपये माय घरी जो चार्ज लागला सो यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट वन थ्री पॉईंट फायव्ह के व्ही चार्जर थ्री पॉईंट फायव्ह या थ्री पॉईंट फायव्ह के व्ही किलोवॉट चार्जर या सो तो माझ्या घरी फ्री आहे विद इन द ट्वेंटी फायव्ह लॅक रुपीज बट देर इज अनदर ए सी चार्ज फास्ट चार्जर विच आय कॅन गेट इन्स्टॉल्ड या सेवन किलोवॉट चार्जर ओके दॅट्स डबल या द रेट ऑफ चार्जिंग इज सेवन किलोवॉट्स ओके सो कन्सिडरिंग युअर बॅटरी इज फॉर्टी फायव्ह किलोवॉट आर ओके सो सिक्स आवर्स इज फॉर्टी टू किलोवॉट आर राईट सेवन सिक्स ऑफ फॉर्टी टू सो हार्डली सिक्स अँड हाफ आवर्स यू टेक टेक इट फॉर फुल चार्ज सो मग त्या चार्जरची काय किंमत पडते Uh, the charger is free of cost the only thing you require is that uh, the distribution company whether it's whether it is a private uh, entity or it is a government entity like msc yeah apple kada msc yeah so right. basically you need to take an additional connection for that okay uh, we can make a load extension we can say right and, right uh, that has to be done it requires some amount of investment from the customer side okay but uh, otherwise the charger is free from msc oh yeah there is a pole charging system where in the हो मी काही काही ठिकाणी बघितलेलं आहेत सम ऑफिस ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस ट्रेंड वेअर दे आर इन्स्टॉलिंग आणि पार्किंग स्पॉट्स पण This is more and more convenience yeah, added with every single information that you are giving me and this is making it more practically viable uh, of course people looking at uh, uh, top end vehicles of uh, current suv ranges where a seltos comes in or a creta comes in i think 21 and a half lakh rupees per month jata tas then you invest 25 in this that 4 and a half lakh rupees is very interestingly it adds to your petrol or your fuel vehicle correct so matlab tumhi जे पेट्रोल आणि फ्यूल एक दोन तीन वर्षामध्ये भराल दॅट टिपिकली विल ॲड ऑन टू दिस कॉस्ट सो यू जस्ट पेईंग इट सॉर्ट ऑफ इन अडवान्स इन अन ईवी अँड वॉट एव्हर बेनिफिट युअर गोईंग टू गेट पोज दॅट इज कर डिरेक्टली इन युअर ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ पॉकेट्स अँड स्टोरेज कॅपॅसिटी टोटल स्टोरेज कॅपॅसिटी इज बिंग इन्क्रीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ जिगा वॉट आर्स सो वी जस्ट टॉक्ट अबाउट दी बॅटरी कॅपॅसिटी इज फॉर्टी फोर पॉईंट फायव्ह किलो वॉट आर्स ऑर वी कॅन से फॉर्टी फायव्ह किलो वॉट आर्स राईट companies which are making batteries they are extending their storage capacities that is energy storage capacities in terms of gigawatt hours once the storage capacity increases in terms of gigawatt hours say multiples of gigawatt hours right the overall ownership cost of an ev will again go down same is not true with the fossil fuels <laughs> you know it that's true that's yeah. true no there is definitely a, a part of economies of scale yeah currently aplyala uh, 10 peki pan nahi maybe पन्नास शंभर पैकी एखादी ईवी दिसते जसे ते अजून वाढत जाणार आहे तसं कंपनी लाईक एम जी इज ऑल्सो गोईंग टू बी एबल टू इन्व्हेस्ट अँड एक्सपांड दॅट मार्केट टू एन्शोअर दॅट इट द प्राईस गोज डाऊन हेवीली बट ॲज अ ॲज अन अर्ली अडॉप्टर आय मीन युअर ट्रीटेड युअर इन नो वे म्हणजे नॉर्मली कसं होतं की आता किक स्टार्टर्स किंवा असे प्रोजेक्ट जे असतात त्याच्यामध्ये यू हॅव लॉट ऑफ लॉज इन द इनिशियल प्रॉडक्ट्स आणि तुम्हाला थोडं कॉम्प्रोमाइज करायला लागतो इन दिस the experience is luxurious the performance is <laughs> it's, it's like a race car you have your own private race car kind of a thing and it's quite convenient as well the only thing that you have to warm up to is the uh, is the challenge of charging your vehicle anywhere and everywhere you go yeah but having said that uh, do you have any customers who have done something crazy or something that you know, like Okay. So I there are a lot of experiences, even a lot of testimonials coming in from EV users. The early EV users, the, you know, the uh, first move makers especially, 
right. they are quite uh, convenient and they are quite uh, comfortable and confident about this product right because uh, abhi tak aisa kuch sunne mein nahi aaya ki gaadi beech raste mein band ho gaya ya fir something happened of course you have to be range anxious and range anxiety is one thing but uh, still they have pushed to the limits okay the users from where in the testimonials have come in they have pushed to the limits of the they pushed the limits forward for this car and they have some have achieved 350 km some have achieved 380 km So right. yeah, yeah. So that these are the facts that we have. Three hundred and eighty kilometers. Yeah, yeah. That is a fact. You are getting into Karnataka now. Yeah. Aramat. Sure. Um, I mean, Hyderabad is uh, within your reaches. Yeah, actually, Karan, uh, you talked about the DC charger. Yeah. It is charging zero to eighty mm-hmm. in fifty uh, minutes. Yeah. Five uh, zero, that is fifty minutes. So if you are going via Kolhapur, mm-hmm. you can actually just stop for lunch. Yeah. By the time you have lunch, all right, you. वाव तुम्हें ये भी एक्चुअली जीरो टू एट्टी जाए वरती जीरो हो रही है बिकॉज द रेंज इज थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स तुम्हारा कश ही मिलना है तुम्हें कोलहापुर अड़चे किलोमीटर मे पोचता है सो वॉट एवर यू हैव डिप्यूटेड यू आर बेसिकली गोइंग टू एन्शोर दैट यू चार्ज इट बैकअप एंड यूजली कोलहापुर अपन थाम खाएस यस 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 फैंटैस्टिक आई हर्ड दैट देर वॉज अ पर्सन टू किट टू गोवा इज दैट ट्रू and even uh, see uh, we are talking about practical driving experiences uh, you must be knowing about the auto car had tested this car and they had pushed the limits up to 563 km that is to the uh, that is also the car which was an earlier version of this a 2020 car 560 563 563 km kaise shakke yeah yeah the, the the video is there on youtube and you can check it out wow yeah so pushing the capacity vehicle has a potential of Going to that, of course, it is not an ideal driving condition. It is not a practical driving condition. Right. It is an ideal driving condition. Correct. So, when the things like, say, for example, turning off your AC, turning uh, off your AC, just yeah. having the blower on, and driving at uh, at speeds not more than 55 km per hour, 60 km per hour. Operate. Right. Okay. So, practically, it is not possible that you drive and, like you said, this is the personal race car that you have, <laughs> and you cannot expect a car to drive at a speed of 60 km per hour. Correct. Correct. So, yes, but if you do that, it can take you up to 563. Now the fun fact is that हा जो डायल है सेकेंडरी अपन जो टाइकोमीटर जागी जो आता आए तिथे मी एटी हंड्रेड या मधे क्रूज करते इट इज स्टील इन एफिशियंसी मोड इट्स नॉट इवन इन पॉवर मोड सो मे ऑन अ व्री लॉन्ग हाईवे कि हाईवे जो अपन आता बारामती में जाना वापरतो तिथे यू जस्ट आई थिंक दिस इज I have cruise control, right? You are using twenty percent of power. I am hardly using twenty percent, less than twenty percent of yeah. power. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I probably can switch on cruise control, keep it at uh, say ninety or hundred, and that's a very decent speed. Yeah. Very few of us are actually pushing the vehicles beyond this. Yeah. Uh, I can do it, but I'm not going to do it. The noise, any uh, efficiency, such issues, when I'm going to do it, no more chamber speed, I'm not going to do it. आणि त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्ही हार्डली ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट एफिशियन्स सो आय थिंक ड्रायविंग लाईक दिस आय कॅन ट्राय टू बीट दॅट थ्री हंड्रेड अँड एटी किलोमीटर्स थ्री नाईन्टी इज युअर युअर नॉट अलाईंग युअर कार टू लेट लूज दॅट इज दॅट इज दी दॅट इज दी थिंग द कार विल नॉट बी हॅपी विथ यू बिकॉज युअर नॉट युजिंग इट इथ फुल कॅपॅसिटी अँड फॉर द सेम रिझन या इट्स अ डिसेंट स्पीड अँड इट शुड बी अ स्पीड ऑन अ हायवे अँड शुड नॉट एक्सीड दॅट बिकॉज वन ट्वेंटी इज अ लाज दॅट यू कॅन एक्सपेक्ट ऑन एनी फ्री ओर एनी Of course, one twenty is a piece of cake for the car, and still you can have a very decent range. That is, uh, having said the top speed, kya hai ya gadi sa? Kiti zaroor shakti hai? My experience, I had taken this car to 165 kilometers, and it has a potential to reach 200 kilometers. 200? Yeah. I don't doubt that. Okay. Zee kya apn karo to to? I think we also reached 145, 150. Yeah. And ata rasta kupat smokra dalay, but. I'm sort of enjoying this aramat jana and this no noise this is actually like a uh, vacation kind of a thing where tumhala bahar cha like ambient noise is really blocked off with the ZSCV it's actually a really well insulated vehicle completely right the AC is blowing very mildly uh, there's no music i don't need it it's it's so quiet i can't hear anything and this is very relaxing and to think of it i have not even used the cruise control yet once i yeah. do that maza accelerator or sa pipe pan nigun janare and then i think maji garaj kami kami hot janare so i can actually start to relax the reason we have turned off the music is that because you get you get addicted to the whining of the motor so you always want to listen to that song <laughs> so it's actually very true yeah mala sarko vatayche ki to ice engine madhe 
ये दैट एग्रेसिव थिंग इट वन येस द मूवीज हैव ऑल्सो एक्सेंजुएटेड दैट एंड पीपल और कंपनीज लाइक टेस्ला हैविंग दैट वाइन यू लाइक दैट यू जस्ट इट्स इट्स एन एवोल्यूशन ऑफ सॉर्ट वे यू आर गेटिंग यूज टू that kind of a noise compared to your usual ic engines awesome. and uh, wow, this is this is a lot of fun we are in sports mode apan thamlelo ahot mage don gaada ta fakta jau de and let's check this out man <laughs> now i know what you're talking about the g's yeah my god this really throws you back into the seat and it just keeps on going and going and pressing you hard against the seat because wow. it's literally a launch force that you have woo and then the brakes again on point he parat ekda karala lagna re this this cannot be missed okay mage kodi nahi hai checked in 3 2 1 go okay <laughs> सो दिस वॉज आर डेस्टिनेशन बेसिकली आम्मी बीयू भंडारी बारामती फैसिलिटी मध्य आहोत आइडिया हिच होती कि नॉर्मल चार्जर वरती इकड़े पर चार्जिंग कर सो करंटली वी हैव चार्ज दी एम जी जेड सी वी इतना चार्जिंग पॉइंट है हाच तुम घरी पो आणि आत्ता आपण बघू शकतो की गाडीमध्ये चार्जिंग ऑलरेडी होत आहे अँड करंटली इट इज थर्टी नाईन पर्सेंट अँड वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग टू गो टिल फिफ्टी पर्सेंट सो लेट्स होप दिस कम टर्न्स आउट टू बी फास्टर दॅन वॉट्स एक्सपेक्टेड नाईस इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग जी एक एम जी झेड एस सी बद्दल आहे इज दिस लाईट कॅन यू नोटिस हाऊ इट इज ब्रीदिंग वाईल इट इज चार्जिंग मेक्स इट ह्युमन नो त्यांची टॅगलाईन आहे इट्स ह्युमन थिंग अँड आय थिंक दिस इज प्रिटी इंटरेस्टिंग आपण ऑलमोस्ट जेजुरी पर्यंत पोहोचलोय बारामती पर्यंत निघताना वी हॅड गुड वन फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स ऑफ रेंज या आणि आता शंभरच्या वर दाखवत आहे आणि वी हार्डली हॅव टू गो सिक्स्टी किलोमीटर्स सो इट कॅन ऑफ फील सेफ या प्रॉब्लेम वॉच एव्हर बट टॉकिंग अबाउट सेफ्टी आय थिंक ऑल दो आपण पाण्याच्या बद्दल वगैरे बोललो हाऊ इट्स नॉट गोईंग टू अफेक्ट अँड इट्स कम्प्लिटली सेफ टू What can you tell me a little more about the safety factors while considering this week? So we talked about the IEC IP67 ratings that we have. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the UL2580 certification, uh, which comes from the Underwriters Laboratories in United States, which okay. is one of the most, you know, uh, uh, well-known companies and the oldest company which does homologation and certification of industrial items and equipments. And now into electronics and you know basically all kinds of electronics and even uh, electric vehicles so this company yeah this company uh, underwriters laboratories uh, has made a standard called 2580 and uh, this uh, this standard basically specifies that this vehicle uh, has undergone eight types of different different uh, destruction tests we can say destruction yeah yes. destructive okay. tests we can say so this vehicle according to the certification it says that this vehicle is uh, fall proof if it falls from a you know guard section uh, still there will be no uh, effect to the battery and the you know overall uh, all right so the bt ek the battery yes, explode hoga correct 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 the correct 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 collision proof collision proof okay overload proof if somebody overloads this battery over over works out or over charges this battery still it is uh, you know it is proof it is it is not uh, going to affect uh, uh, it will it will not cause a short circuit and a fire hazard from that so okay so this and uh, extrusion uh, extrusion is something like that when you pull out something from the battery Correct. or basically you know put a tensile stress on any particular thing it's okay. just called extrusion mm-hmm. so even that is not going to cause much more damage or it is not going to you know start a fire this test has been passed by this vehicle particularly wow. that is the reason it is called UL2580 uh, certified vehicle म्हणजे जे काही डोक्यामध्ये डाऊट असू शकतात एखाद्याच्यामध्ये इट्स ऑब्विस एव्हरी न्यू टेक्नॉलॉजी विल कम विथ इट्स ओन स्पेक्युलेशन बट आय थिंक द फॅक्ट दॅट एम जी एस गॉन अ हेड टू द लेंथ ऑफ गेटिंग दिस सर्टिफाईड नॉट जस्ट वन बट मल्टिपल नोन सर्टिफिकेशन आणि सर्टिफिकेशन ऑर्गनायझेशन दॅट आर दॅट आर दॅट आर बीन देअर सिन्स एजेस नॉट जस्ट दॅट दिस कार इज युरो एम कॅप फाय स्टार बेसिकली 
Wow. Okay. Side airbags, side airbags, and the front wheel. So I've already seen the electronics there. They are yeah. amazing. But yeah, car is safety. Yeah, hey. Performance, upon we get it, hey. Fantastic. Hey. Price wise, we also look at the ownership cost, total yeah, lifetime yeah. ownership, and that comes out pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think one more factor which might kind of affect people is the warranty. I mean, kai logo mantha tha, battery is gali tha, mummy kai koru. Okay. So, MG as a brand, we are giving on the product, we are giving a five years of warranty okay. for the car, uh, unlimited kilometers, of course, and for the battery, we are giving uh, eight years or 150,000 kilometers, whichever is earlier. One lakh fifty thousand yeah. kilometers for eight years. Eight years. Like kahi hi fault zala, battery la kahi zala. Yeah. Anything related to manufacturing defect will be covered under that warranty. And uh, there is something called attenuation. Attenuation is a aging aging uh, characteristic of any battery. Okay. Which basically you know when it, when you buy a new car or any new device, it is a new battery. Mm -hmm. So it charges very efficiently, very fast, and the rate of discharge is quite slow and quite you know palatable yeah, and understandable. Yeah. But uh, as the battery ages, the rate of discharge increases, or the to overall uh, charge holding capacity of the battery diminishes over a period of time. This is called attenuation. So we uh, basically we claim that the attenuation of ZSE battery after eight years will be less than thirty percent. So even if you charge the battery after eight, after completing eight years or more like fifty thousand kilometers, even if you try to charge the battery hundred uh, percent, chemically it will not charge to hundred percent. It okay. will charge seventy percent only. But still, you got a range of what? Two hundred kilometers after eight years. So if I am comparing this to an IC engine, typically yeah. we say that certain kilometers are yeah. another major overall. Yeah. Correct. Jawa, we almost end up paying say ten fifteen percent of the vehicle Pretty charge. Yeah. Whether Jawa the pistons wearing hota, yes, yes. Uh, cylinders blocks pan wear hota. Para yeah. Jawa, you have to change the entire setup, and that yeah. is an expensive affair. Not to mention the gearbox. So I mean, of course, the chances of going like things getting failed. In an IC engine, there is obviously increased because there are more moving parts. Exactly. But here you have that one thing which MG is ensuring for eight years. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We are going to take care of it. Post that, you're still going to retain about seventy percent of efficiency, even after the yeah seventy percent of range years. you're going to retain. Uh, that because the attenuation we are claiming it is below thirty percent, which has been tried and tested. So okay. And of course, unless and until we try and test something, why would you give me such a huge warranty for a product? Achcha dar kela thari you can't make random yeah. claims. So not uh, definitely not being an automobile that not kitchen ekur shaka because you can check even iPhone six users and iPhone seven users. They so for example even iPhone five users, right. iOS five users, the phones they are. Quite amount of uh, time has passed over a six or six or seven years period, but still they are using the phones and yeah, they keep it true true. because of the battery that they have. Eight years and 150,000 kilometers is uh, I don't know. Yes. Product life cycle of a car in India somewhere around five or six years. Oh, means they usually look at four or five years and after yeah, they change. Yeah, they change. Yeah, they change. There's no doubt. There's no point not keeping it. There's a lot of wear and tear. Apply the steering. Correct. Correct. All these things matter. And a lot. then again, the resale value comes into picture. Resale value. Is Big thing, and this this market is only growing. I think uh, later on there will be a lot of people. Janna parat. I mean, it's going to be the first generation of resale buyers of EVs. Of course. And if they want, he car is what is yeah, going to be yeah. at the prime of it, probably. And I'll tell you one one more thing. The uh, per kilowatt hour, uh, you know, cost of manufacturing the battery uh -huh. is going down drastically. Okay. Today, whatever the battery might be costing, okay, after eight years, so let us consider the warranty period, right? It will cost around five to six times lesser. Okay. Because the production cost. cost is going down. Correct. At that rate. Correct. Around fifty dollars, fifty dollars per kilowatt hour. You are, uh, you know, you are depreciating on the production cost year on year. Correct. So this is going to, you know, this is going to make the entire migration process from IC engines to electric vehicles uh, very fast. So yeah. And then after actually, you mala say for example, if you want to just change the entire battery pack, correct? Something like this. It's, it's probably going to be more cheaper, far more cheap. There is a there, there is a concept, there is a business model called battery swapping also. Oh yeah. So you can swap the batteries even if you. You know, uh, run out of the juice from the battery. You can straight away at any charging station or any service provider on the highway. You can swap the battery. So even that 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 concept is quite uh, you know uh, profitably working in US also. And uh, Tesla does the same thing. And in few 
future uh, even two wheelers have started it two wheelers made yes uh, we've yeah. got a couple of uh, startups have yeah, yeah. revolt wagera hai je battery wagera kaadu swap kiya yeah. swapping i uh, have available but in four wheelers uh, i think it's a little more development required correct and uh, a little factors of say insurances or all those things correct. that need to be correct. factored correct. in as the technology evolves the you know the diagnostics of the battery will become very fast and okay. even battery swapping will be a very new feature because what we require is to ensure that the battery that i'm taking back is a nice battery it's a good battery which is right. you know, which i can charge and reuse for some other swapping uh, purpose right. so that diagnostics will develop very easily because vms is becoming more and more you know uh, more and more conversant or we can say vms is becoming more more and more open source for uh, a lot of different different manufacturers true yeah so now that you mentioned vms vms is by the way battery management battery system, system yeah. and uh, just while uh, leaving baramati apne na ek error error nahi actually there was a notification a notification which said that there is an update available yeah and i have noticed the gana app apan gaadi pan vazuli liya hai so i know this but just to make it clear there is a sim card inside this way yes yes, yes. there is an app also uh, yeah it played the gana songs without me giving it wifi wagera kai nahi tacha tacha den chalu kelela hai so definitely there is internet yeah. and it got that update notification as well yeah. so for people who don't know uh, internet inside is something that mg talks about a lot where all their vehicles are connected cars mm-hmm. and they they call it a human thing just a apan bagita ki that's a logo glow to when it is breathing logo, yeah. and uh, you can talk to the vehicle you can give it commands yeah. you can interact with the vehicle and it's pretty cool jaso tumhi tumcha google assistant barbar kara tashat sort of made ahe it's again something you need to experience of again, course you have to believe it so try to believe it of course <laughs> so you have to do that it's a key but the updates tumhi mala kay sa what what is the benefit that my is it like my vehicle is getting updated like yeah, so software basically, update it is called uh, uh, fota it is called firmware over the updates okay uh, so mg uh, whenever required and whenever the the time calls for it or the duty calls for it basically if there is a newer software version mg without even uh, taking your permission they will just give you notification that there is a new software update uh-huh. it which will flash over here uh-huh. if you want you can install it right away okay okay and uh, uh, some imp- important updates are critical which are done uh, well in advance by the company okay and uh, uh, which is good so they keep on updating their systems for a better you know user experience right so uh, so that no sir it is uh, you know presume that uh, if there is a bug or in the system or you need require some uh, you know fresh skin right. or a fresh team right. so mg thinks of uh, thinks of it in advance and you need not take your car to the workshop every time there is a new update just to correct oh, yeah, the diagnostics karala lagay sa ki is ah, you, need to connect, yeah, you need to connect Achha, the, to right. the yeah, obd that is on board diagnostics you, you have to you want to use basically and you had to use it correct uh, for any kind of update that you want to So there was a time when uh, any mechanical update just had to go at the workshop. Then came the time when people plugged in their cars into laptops. Yeah. And it did the while lagla. And now don't do anything. Busla busla a car even or even when you're sitting at home, yeah. your probably car is just getting updated over there. I think uh, technology wise for a developing technology EVs, uh, this is something which is a really good feature again. Uh, yeah. Probably you will start getting and seeing SIM cards in a lot of cars, but MG is doing it right now. Yeah, they are doing it quite effectively. Like, thankfully, MG is, I got we, this. We can say MG is the pioneer in this technology in India because uh, earlier there are a lot of connected car platforms, but they were somehow lacking into that particular connectivity, which was functional. Okay, and uh, a car with you know functionality, hundred percent functionality of telematics, you have. So that is the reason we have disrupted the market entirely. Right. There is a feature called uh, 360 degree spider navigation. Okay. Uh, for say, basically, if we uh, want to go in any 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 particular direction, only directional, you, you you just want to drive and okay. you want to go. So, the 360 degree spider navigation system will tell you how long you can go in that direction and how many charging stations are available there and how is the road patch. Okay. Would you be able to uh, you know Would you be be able to uh, use the curves effectively? Would you be able to reach that point? so that uh, everything in advance you can plan your travel according adoption cha opti made bolto ani there is a electric bus electric bus yes. right next to us yeah which is amazing it's like a big brother of the yeah vehicle yeah. 
विजन to say that this is something which you are going to require later later asta nahi hai maybe tumhala yacha fayda nahi disate but ek varsha jaun de and you will probably be requiring this and that time you don't need an upgrade there yeah, it's yeah, already yeah. been thought of, of. Course, of course of course the entire iot system is 5g ready oh so, yeah so even if a 5g technology now it is coming very slowly at a format of a very faster pace it will be launched right. pan india and uh, you need not uh, you know upgrade the sim card or something like that you did not need, need any major hardware changes it is already 5g once the 5g uh, you know comes becomes a reality in india the firmware over there updates will also apply to your uh, you know critical updates like uh, engine software transmission software yeah that's true so you need not take your car every time to the workshop for any particular software you want so my steering is electronic yeah my acceleration is electronic mm-hmm. Uh, basically my switch gear everything is electronic my gear selection that That's is the reverse and correct. the drive everything is electronic yeah. if at all there is some change that needs to be done it's mm-hmm. being controlled by a chip mm-hmm. that chip is actually connected to the internet as we are mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. and as we are driving right now mm-hmm. in going via jesu direct and i am getting the point so basically this update is sort of going to ensure that my vehicle like my entire vehicle can just completely transform itself yeah just sure. with whatever it is there on 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 the car at this point of time uh, definitely but after the user's consent of course of course that is something a person uh, like you pointed out even before that uh, the update will be ready whether you want to install it yeah. later or right now is something that is always in your hands so uh, this this is a little bit of uh, too much future right now <laughs> too much in one day for me to fathom because i've been driving an ic engine car for the longest amount of time and all of a sudden just after this pandemic i'm getting to sit inside a mobile like computer of course of course which has got analytics telematics it's got everything on board and plus it can put a big grin on my face whenever i want just at a press of a pedal i just do this and <laughs> This is something that I can't get. Correct. Like it just doesn't get old. But we are conserving battery right now, so I'm going to get back to my driving. And yeah. on that point also, I've been uh, in- ensuring that uh, my driving efficiency is less than 20 mm. uh, compared to the entire 100 that I can get uh, when the throttle is completely down. And I am still able to reach speeds of 100. 80 and 90 correct like it doesn't take a lot of effort or you don't have to really accept the momentum in itself can take you there mm-hmm. and i think this can ensure that your kilometer range goes well beyond 300 very yeah. easily of course like if you're on a relaxed drive and this car does sort of make you want to relax because we've talked about it the noise is close to nothing close to nothing. so you you can just relax and uh, put on the cruise control and just let it go at 80 and it will do it with a charge of less than 20% power This car is just uh, amazing me by every minute that I'm spending in this. The battery is low. Please charge it in time. So we've come down to 30 percent, 84 kilometers of range. So this, this is, I think, the first major warning that you get. Yeah, uh, when the battery yeah. gets low. This is the audible warning that you get uh, when the battery goes up to 30 percent and below. Since we talked about the safety, we also have to ensure that uh, you know, basically, the pedestrian safety. Since the car does not make any roar. the pedestrian safety and the pedestrian warning system will uh, you know uh, alert the pedestrian of a oh, so you're talking about on the outside it's going to make outside noise. yeah on the outside yeah wow okay they've thought about everything everything not a single stone was unturned vehicles like this mala uh, sort ki they are something that easily empower any person who wants to go electric who wants to have a sustainable transport system correct ya vyakti la to power dete ki tu dhu shaktos you can travel around Uh, yes there is there is a learning curve to this even the way you drive it there is right. a small learning curve but it's nothing compared to the benefits uh, not just in terms of uh, the ecology but also in terms of the performance exactly manamata exactly, exactly.